what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel i have a new hot toy figure i am going to unbox but before i do that let me let you guys know i do appreciate all the love and support that you guys have showed me for these videos and i will continue doing these videos and more unboxing of other things as long as i keep seeing you know that you guys are interested in it i'll keep doing it so without further ado let's open this up now, sorry about the lighting here, but it's going to change as soon as I unbox this and I put it in the, the whole light. The thing is, if I turn this light on and I'll show you now, you're going to see a big glare. So I don't want to have that glare in the background. All right, let's unbox this. Now, let me tell you guys something real quick. I've been seeing this figure being advertised for the past couple of months, and it looks really good. So I'm hyped for this. Hopefully, it stays true from what I saw in pictures. Because up close and personal, man, it's totally different, you know? Like Hulk Hogan when he rips his shirt off. So the first thing off the bat, man, this box looks really nice. It has a nice blue color to it. A lot of nice designs. Now, after the video, I will be posting up some pictures of the figure posing and the box. Anything that you guys can't really see because of the lighting that I have here. So check that out after the video. The side view of the box it says John Wick there. The back cover, John Wick. On the other side, John Wick, same thing. Bottom, John Wick. And on the top, same thing, John Wick. All right, let's Wow, he has a lot of accessories in there. Holy crap. All right, guys, I know you can't see it, too much glare, and on top of that, the lighting is really bad here. So I'm gonna stop the video, and when you come back, you'll see it a lot better. All right, guys, so I got everything laid out flat for you guys, all his accessory weapons. We got a pistol in a briefcase with two clips. Got a couple of other clips here. We have a knife, a pencil there. Okay, so we have his AR-15 right here. Looks pretty good, I like it. He also comes with the KSG, pretty sweet, I like this. And he also comes with the Benelli M4. You can see the bullet here. Some of these accessories are very tiny like this bullet so you guys got to be careful that you don't drop this because you can lose it it's so small so be careful all right so i'm gonna put this away and i'm gonna lay the rest of the accessories he has in the box so you guys can take a look at it okay so i got him laying flat hopefully you guys can see it better this way Take him out. I like the fact that they added the bruising, the blood. That's pretty cool that they added that. As you can see, he got a bunch of things I got to take off from all this plastic to protect them from getting damaged. Shoot. Whoa. Oh, well, there goes his foot. Okay, well, I had to put this back on, the shoe, and 
I must say, it was a little annoying to put this back on. I don't know if it's just my figure, but it was pretty annoying. And it came off easily, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, so. So what do you guys think of this head sculpt? I think it looks pretty freaking good, man. It definitely captures Keanu Reeves' uh, look. Not bad, not bad. I definitely like the cuts and bruises on him. With a little bit of that blood. Looks good. And um, his suit. His suit is really well made on the figure. And as you can see, he also has the ring on his uh, finger here. Okay, so here he has extra pegs. He has eight different hand gestures, which I'm glad they added all these hand gestures. Definitely good. And in this packaging over here, he has a bunch of different coins. He has a lot of them actually. And this right here is his stand. Looks pretty good. I like the design on it. And over here, if I can show you guys, this right here is his blood marker. As you can see, the detail is really well made. You can see the skull on the top of it. Look at that. And the other one, this one is the same thing but it has the top open and it has a, a bit of a blood stain inside of it. It's pretty nice. I like it. All right, so I got John Wick posed up for you guys so you can see him. The figure is pretty sweet, guys. If you guys are big fans of John Wick, the movie, this is definitely a figure you would like to pick up. It's really, really well made. The suit is pretty much tailor made for the figure. As you can see, it looks really good. The one thing that I'm kind of disappointed in is that they didn't add his dog. I mean, come on, man. We, we know John Wick is about the dog. In the very first movie, he flipped out because they killed the dog that his loved one gave him. And that's unfortunate that he didn't come with the dog. But I think it would have been awesome if he would have came with the dog, for sure. But you can definitely get that dog in on a third party. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So definitely look out for that. So what do you guys rate this figure from 1 through 10? Me personally, I rate it an 8. The reason I take two points away is because of the fact that it didn't come with the dog. And I think the dog would have completed the figure for sure. Other than that, I think the figure is really well made. So if you guys are big fans of John Wick, definitely get this figure. And stay tuned after the video, you'll see more pictures with him in different poses and maybe I have him interact with different characters of Hot Toys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now and please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the channel out and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys and stay tuned for the next unboxing. Peace.